Hi guys, this is Wojciech Sierra Papa 5 Whiskey Whiskey Papa from the M17 project and today I would like to show you my FPGA plus STM32 uh, M17 setup, a proof of concept for the OpenHD. So let's go. Uh, the whiteboard that you see in the center is the STM32 uh, F767 nucleo board that uh, generates the M17 baseband and uh, the blackboard uh, just behind it is the Lattice FPGA uh, development board that uh, pulls the STM32 for uh, the baseband samples 48,000 uh, times per second over uh, an interface similar to SPI well in fact it is SPI uh, so those samples from the whiteboard M17 baseband samples go to the blackboard and right there we've got an NCO that's numerical uh, controlled uh, oscillator and uh, that oscillator takes the baseband input and uh, generates sine and cosine so I and Q branches for the generator for the IQ modulator and those samples are uh, I mean, uh, we've got the basement at uh, 48k samples per second and then the output that goes for the digital to analog converters right here uh, on the right hand side, uh, it's at 1.2 megahertz so it's really upsampled by a lot, it's exactly upsampled by 25 uh, so that factor is needed because uh, Later on, we are going to use this board, which is an AT86RF215 by Atmel, uh, microchip right now. And we are going to use this chip as the complete IQ transceiver later on. So we've got that baseband, uh, the complex baseband. Uh, so we've got two, BN two coax cables right here going to the oscilloscope and then going to my signal generator that is already set uh, to transmit on 439.95 and it transmits uh, M17 basement from the blackboard so with a bit of luck we should be able to decode the transmission <laughs> Yeah, it works. So this radio runs OpenRTX and it's the radio itself is modified MD380 to support M17. And this is it. Uh, this is the the first part of the proof of concept of OpenHD. So the next step is probably going to be uh, an actual use of this board instead of this 15 kilograms signal generator so instead of having two cables uh, from the board from the black FPGA board to the signal generator we will have an uh, LVDS uh, protocol using SATA cables to connect the FPGA to the IQ transceiver. So that's it for today. Uh, 7.3 SP5 WWP out.